Okay, okay guys, this is just a little small clip um, for the shot hole video. I added in the video when I actually do the video for you guys, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, we at Walmart, and this is what a couple of days after I did uh, the birthday garden tour, and me and Big Daddy, uh, my birthday uh, done it with Big Daddy. Okay, so I just want to show you guys that we are at the store and after all the rain and the bipolar weather that we've had for the last couple of months, because tomorrow is April, the, I mean, uh, May the 1st, I want to show y'all we're at the store. The same shot hole disease is in the trees here. So, let me show y'all. Okay, so we at the store. That's what it started out like, just like that. And it's time as the disease progress, where you see those spots at, they the spots fall out, literally fall out, and they leave the little um, shotgun holes. So that tells that tells us that the disease is in the tree from the nursery. That's what they tell us. So, the, so what we have to do, like baby said, when we all go shopping for our trees and our plants, we're going to have to go ahead and start spraying the um, trees. Now, you want to try to get as organic as possible with your spray because we eat what we grow. You want to be as organic as, I want to see if it's on the purr. See, it's on the purrs. And we didn't even get any pearls. It's from the nursery. But y'all will see in the full video what we use. And it is working. It has stopped it. We have fresh new grow on it. And uh, it's no shot hole on it. So I got y'all covered. I got y'all. Y'all just stick with me. Thumb, here go, apple tree. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. Look, it's on it. I said, look at God. Brought me to Walmart. What I come to Walmart for, y'all? I want to check out that garden center. And uh baby came to pick up a couple of things. So that's why we're here because baby wants to come. But that's how God works. But yeah, the um I'm gonna do a video about it all and I'm gonna put what works in the video for you guys y'all go ahead and thumbs up the video if you have not um thumbs up the video already subscribe to the channel if you have look at them babies if you have not subscribed to the channel already and we're gonna get back to the video y'all I still ain't pruned them uh, tomatoes. I told y'all to remind me. We got blackberry blooms. I 
I need to come in here and cut it off. I don't know if it got choked out or what. Well, he's spraying now is for the insects, y'all. But this clip will be in for the shot hole video. He done blew my little potatoes off. They'll stand back up. And my carrots, y'all. Don't forget, these in this bucket, them the ones that I replanted after I took uh, the veg growth from the potato and put it in the uh, bags. So it gave me more. So we switch in between the neem oil because uh, a subscriber commented on one of my videos and said use neem oil for the uh, shot hole disease. I wasn't going to do that. That was not going to work for me. I know y'all ain't heard from us in a while, honey, but this video is ready to come out in a day or two. Put all the clips together that I've been gathering. But everything has fruit on it. This is the grapefruit. And it has dropped a lot of fruit too. Like I said, it's going to drop what it can't handle. Meyer lemons. So, yeah, everything has been going good despite all the rain, y'all. Okay, guys. We trying to wrap this uh, shot hole disease, fungus disease uh, video up. I know it's just all over the place, but the answer still remains the same. Okay. Hold it. Okay. So, this is good, but it's good for the insects. Not so much is the fungicide. We actually do use this. Like we have several bottles of this. We use this, but we did not find it uh, beneficial for the fungus disease. The peroxide worked wonders. The copper, not so good. I love Dr. Earth products. I really, really do. But the disease control fungicide, and it's pretty much empty. It's a no. I do recommend the Super Thrive every so often. That's something I use anyway. But it wasn't beneficial for um, the fungus disease, for the shot hole disease in the trees. And uh, the fungus disease that spread it to the other plants from the trees with the shot hole disease. The winner of what we use is the peroxide. Y'all might want to Google the peroxide because that's kind of what I did. YouTube, I've seen a few videos on YouTube about the uh, peroxide, but I don't want to go putting shit in my plants that me and my family eat. So uh, I went to the Google about it and it was good for uh, fungus, bacteria, and all this stuff, you know. I've seen people put uh, their fungus toenails in a bucket with a bottle of peroxide. And I knew it had to do something. So what we did was test it out. What we did was 
At first, we started with five drops per gallon of water. Then we moved it up to 10 drops, to, I mean, 10 tablespoons, not drops, y'all, tablespoons per gallon. And the 10 tablespoons per gallon knocked it out. So let's go to the plants. Okay. Now y'all know, and if you don't know, I'm going to link that video uh, about that uh, when we discovered the shot hole. And it's some still on the plants. But that, she fine. That peroxide gave us tons of new growth. As you can see, just peroxide, y'all. Tons of new growth. And y'all know this is what it looked like all over the all over the tree. That's what it looked like. But all of it is pretty much gone. And nothing works better than that damn peroxide. I mean, it's the simplest things that you would think that'll help. We go out and we spend all this money on all this different stuff that they marketing and uh, they got peroxide everywhere for a damn dollar. Now y'all know the plum trees had it worse. Now I know earlier in the video I did a clip with me and my husband was at Walmart and those plum trees at Walmart had the same damn disease. That's where it came from out of those plum trees. But look at all this new growth on this plum tree. You see the difference? This bark is brown. It's an older bark. This bark is green. This is new growth from a month. Because it's been a month since we've been posting. Because of the graduation or whatever. But look at that. The new growth does not have. It's gone. You just wait on all that uh, infected areas to you know, fall off. And you don't want to leave them in your pot. Take it out your pot when it falls off in your pot. Because they're just putting the uh, bacteria, the fungus, right back into your uh, soil. So make sure you get those leaves out of your pots. But look at that. And y'all know how disgusting it looked. It. Here go one right here. That's how it looked it all over the tree. It's not like that anymore. And it was all thanks to peroxide. And those plum trees infected my whole entire garden. Even everything on this side. So everything got peroxide. But look at all that new grow, y'all. There's three, four weeks of new grow. I hope y'all can see it. But the answer to any and every fungal disease, I don't care what nobody say. Do your own research. I did my own research. See, look at this. Y'all see how bad that look? That's all from that fungal disease. But look how it's drying out. It's drying out. Falling off. And you just get the leaves out. Do not put them infected leaves in your compost pile because you're going to infect everything in your compost pile. Yeah, but it's just our, full of new growth. Yeah, even our tree. So, and then it stopped it from uh, going over to my apple trees too because my apple trees was getting it. Yep. Here, Peaches, she said, yep. Look, Mommy, look at my apple. Oh, y'all excuse Peaches' hair. Excuse me, guys. Look. Yeah, that's your apple. I can eat when it grow. Yeah, you're going to oh, eat no. it when it grow. All the trees look so much better, y'all. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Peroxide for the wind. For the wind. Peroxide for the, for the wind. For everything. Even the, uh, look at Big Dad. I'm not going to play with him. But yep, um, yeah, I'm not gonna keep rambling on because the answer pretty simple. If you don't believe it, just do some research and trial and error, and you will see for yourself. I think with the peroxide, it, like I said, it kills bacteria and fungus and quite a few other things. But if it work on somebody 
athlete feet and fungus in your toenails. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all done seen somebody or a picture of somebody, know somebody that got uh, fungus on their toenails or fingernails or whatever. They soak it in peroxide and it literally cures that fungus, you know, uh, in their nails. Same thing with the trees. And I was so happy when I started. And the results didn't even take long. We been seeing results. Y'all see how long this new growth is? That wasn't overnight. We been seeing the improvement. We just didn't have time to get the videos out. Because our oldest son prom and graduation. But the simple answer is peroxide. It got to the point where I take a peroxide. Y'all see that peroxide bottle right there. In the fire pit. It got to the point where I... It was raining so much, I'll come out here with two, three bottles of peroxide, y'all, and just squirt it. So, I, I got to the point where I stopped measuring the peroxide. I just stopped pouring it in because rain was just flushing through the uh, pots. And, you know, uh, the pots got a thousand holes in it, so it just draining right out, but it's cleansing the soil, too, at the same time. It did not burn my plants. It did not burn my trees. It didn't burn anything. It actually did what it was supposed to do, and it was to cure the hot, uh, the whole shot disease is what they call it, but it's a fungal disease. Bye. That's what it did. So y'all thumbs the video. I'm finally finished with the video. I got the video out for y'all. I do recommend everybody uh, stock up on y'all some perox peroxide if you gardening. That's the cheapest, most effective route. Instead of buying all this crap that they out here marketing, the simple, easy fix for bacterial and fungal diseases is peroxide. And it's going to be the end of this video. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up, share, like, and leave your comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.